I want to touch on something a minute. I'm sure that all my subscribers know and watch Nay Nay. And uh <clears throat> Nay Nay, this is not I repeat, this is not a dig at you. I honestly should have mentioned something about this in a previous video. But I get involved with stupid YouTube drama bullshit and talk about ridiculous shit instead of maybe what I ought to be talking about. Um, but as many of you I'm sure know, Nene -Nay got set up with a fucking scam, I believe it was Sunday, at the Petro, uh, up there at the Indiana-Ohio line on 70. Now, although I have never, although I have never been set up on any kind of shit like what she got set up on, I did get scammed out of some money back in uh, probably 2000 or 2001 up at uh, Lake Station, Indiana back at the Ponderosa Steakhouse and the TA. But that was because, um, <clears throat> let's just say that was, uh, that was because I was trying to buy something that I probably shouldn't have been trying to buy and stupidly, stupidly gave the motherfucker the money so he could quote unquote go get it. Nah. Nah, fuck you. You go get it, bring it back, then you'll get the money. But I fell for the bullshit, and uh, guess what? I never seen my money again. Big surprise, right? People, I've only been out here trucking since 98. So this September will make 22 years running the road. I assure you, I assure you, there is nobody out here that you're going to meet in a rest area, a truck stop, a customer, whether it be another truck driver. I assure you, you are not going to meet anybody out here on this highway in society that is just gonna fucking willy-nilly give you money without something in return. Uh, whatever that something may be, I'm gonna figure it out. If there is somebody like that that's just gonna willy-nilly give you money just because they're feeling fucking generous and for the hell of it, I've never met them. I've never met them. And you cannot trust, sadly, sadly, you cannot trust anybody nowadays. I, this probably is going to make some of you even think I'm even more of an asshole than I already probably appear to be. But I have actually told people, and actually this is my line anymore to be perfectly honest with you, 
when people come to me wanting money, I'll buy you food and shit. I have no problem. And if you come to me talking about money for food or you're hungry, and I say, well, come on, let's go in here. I'll get you something to eat. And you come on in with me to get something to eat, I have no problem at all in feeding you. But these sob stories from all these fucking people you hear, I just tell them, look, dude, I, God bless you, but I've got my own problems, man. I've got my own problems. And as far as the whole scam that Nene fell victim to, I've told people in the past, over, after I learned my lesson from Lake Station and realized that people out here are fucking slime balls for the most part, I have actually told people before, I don't give a fuck. You know, they say, hey man, look at this jewelry or look at this whatever, blah, 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 blah. I've told them before, dude, I don't wear jewelry. I don't give a fuck. You know, and I just keep on walking. It's sad that you got to be like that nowadays, but it is what it is. You've got to be like that nowadays, you know? Again, Nene, I don't even know if you watch my channel or not. Probably not, I doubt it. But whether you do or whether you don't, Nene, this is not a dig at you. Not at all. This is something that I feel like I should have put out at some point over the last five months of my stupid channel. Because, because this happens on a fucking daily basis out here. You know? But just always remember, people, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. You know? And, and like I said earlier, nobody's just going to fucking give you a bunch of money. I, I've yet to meet anybody like that, quite honestly. I know I ain't giving nobody a bunch of fucking money. Like I said before, I'm not balling. I got my own bills to pay and my own shit in life. <clears throat> I'll buy you something to eat. But y'all just be, just be particular, you know? Just, just be smart about things. And remember, <laughs> number one, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And number two, nobody ain't going to give you no fucking money. I, I've yet to meet that person. So, big news coming. Big news coming in a few weeks, people. And in, in the words of the great Paul Harvey, stand by for news. Y'all take it easy. Be careful. Be smart. Beware your surroundings, and we back quiet.